Hey guys, I'm Valerie, and as you've seen in the other videos on this channel, I'm doing the 50 random things about me tag, I guess that's what you call it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into it because it is 50 questions and I really do not want to edit this and I do not want it to be very long because I can just ramble and I really don't want to do that. So anyways, let's get started. First question is, where were you born? I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Second question, favorite color as a kid versus now? My favorite color as a kid, I don't even know if I had a favorite color. I mean, every little girl loves the color pink, so I'm pretty sure my favorite color at the, as a kid was pink and then blue and then all types of colors. But when I got up to... I don't know. It switches. It's versatile. I like gray, even though it's not really much of a color. But I love pink and orange is also. I've loved those colors for a while. Mixed with like a lilac color. Um, third, oh, third question is, first pet. My first pet was actually a, well, I wouldn't really count little goldfishies because they really die within like a week. So I would go with my first actual pet was an actual um, turtle. And I had like three of them. Um, four. What was, what was your first career choice and has it changed? Actually, my, my career choice has been the same since I was a kid. I've always loved being in front of the camera. I've always loved the passion for acting and all the theater work and everything so it's still my passion and I'm going for it so yeah um question number five favorite tv shows I have a list the list is definitely endless but as of now since most of my shows did finish um I would say pretty little liars that pretty little liars I don't even know what I was just saying there um I still watch Degrassi. I don't know if anybody still watches that. I've been watching it since I was 10. Um, I don't know. I have like a lot of mixed favorite shows, but I hardly watch TV um, other than reality shows on Sundays. Um, number six is biggest motivation. My biggest motivation is basically just sticking to being positive and getting up every morning, knowing what you want and going for it. Um, so yeah. Um, number seven, what made you start a YouTube channel? I've had a YouTube channel for years now, and I had, um, just a random channel, and I started off doing reviews, like movie reviews and stuff like that. Then it changed into a channel where me and my little cousin started making videos, and we used that one to do our random dip videos, um, but... Last year, I decided to start my own fashion channel, um, random channel, you can call it, or whatever. And I made a year just the other day. Um, eight, eight, what's your relationship status? I am single, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not in a relationship, but I'm not considered single. I do have a friends with benefits relationship going on. It sounds crazy, but I am 20 years old, and I really don't want to be too too tied down right now and I do not want to be like not you know just single and being bored um but don't worry the guy is amazing and he's one of my great friends um number nine sneak food into the movie theaters or buy there honestly I don't buy anything at the theater I go to the deli where there's a deli I live in New York so delis everywhere um I get sour patches which is only a dollar and in the movie theater the same bag is four to five dollars um so yeah that and I'll probably sneak in the water or whatever number 10 favorite youtubers my favorite youtuber I would say Zoella um Fleur de Fours um, there's just like a whole bunch. The list is endless when it comes to YouTubers also. I like a lot of, um, British-based, um, YouTubers. And, yeah. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. my current obsession, my current obsession right now is, I don't know. Like, there's so many things that I can say, but, I don't know, um, 
I guess just working out and being really on top of my game with being healthy and I don't know that's just I guess my current obsession I don't really have much of an obsession with anything right about now um my style icon I have one and it's Kourtney Kardashian I love her style and it's so similar to mine so I don't know I can take inspiration here and there since I love fashion um favorite song as a kid teen and adult my favorite song as a kid I'm not too sure if I remember but I would have to go with some Aaron Carter yes Aaron Carter I could sing him all day and it's just sad as a teen I would say anything Hillary Dove I mean when I hit teens in junior high school as an adult uh, which is right now I don't know I mean like I listen to whatever is good anything Lana Del Rey for sure like I'll just sit there and just like listen it listen to all her music her albums her demos whatever you name it I'm listening to it okay um if you could afford anything what would you buy honestly I don't know even if like I was asked this question a long time ago and I also said that I would just save it I really wouldn't spend it on anything I don't know why I just don't see myself spending money on ridiculous things I don't know I'm not really materialistic so I really don't know what I would buy um 15 do you believe in deja vu slash magic I believe in deja vu I have it all the time and it's been happening way too often lately ever since 2013 started um magic I don't know I was obsessed with magic as a kid you know watching Harry Potter and all that but I would have to say that I do have my um ins and outs of not magic but I would say I'm more spiritual spiritually like that's just me I don't want to get into that um number 16 best and worst memory about high school okay this is crazy because I have two um things I can say one being I started high school in 2006 to 2010 um there were four years of good and bad you know I just went to school every day never missed a day did everything I had to do I was there for my friends you know trying to just pass by I mean like anybody else would unfortunately the bad thing I can say about that school was that I didn't graduate um, I was declined um, my cap and gown my diploma basically I have my cap and gown I'm gonna explain that on my channel and you can click here if you want to go see it I'll make a video sometime this week about it about my experience so yeah and yesterday I graduated officially high school I'm 20 years old but like I said you have to watch the video to understand everything I went back in January to a whole different school best experience of my life literally I changed so much made me so much happier so much better and I have not, no complaints about that school. I mean, literally, that's been the best thing so far in 2013. My favorite candy. I hardly eat candy, but if I do, anything sour is my thing. Um, my biggest fears. I don't really, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of fearless when it comes to certain things. Like, I'll try anything. But I guess I would say, like, I would be afraid of roller coasters, which is silly because once I get on one, I'm like, oh my god, the thrill, the adrenaline, like, it's just insane. Um, 19, first boyfriend slash crush. Crush, I mean, ever since I, not even gonna lie, ever since I was a kid, I was just obsessed with boys. And I never, I never shared it with anybody, I was just obsessed with boys, boys are just hot, I don't know. So I had a lot of crushes. Um, my first boyfriend was when I was 15, total douchebag, has a kid now, washed up, thank god I got out of that. Thanks for cheating on me with three girls, thank you. Um, number 20, sports or plays, Sp play plays, plays of course, acting is my passion. 21, a celebrity crush, female and male. Female, Megan Fox, hands down, and Mila Kunis love them oh my gosh um male 
Colin Farrell. I mean, anybody who knows me knows that Colin Farrell is like the god for me. I don't know why. I developed this crush in November and it's still going on. Or Skylar Aston from Pitch Perfect. His lips are delicious looking. I don't I don't care what you say. Um, 22, a secret. A secret is I kind of have a crush on my friend with benefits. Yeah. I kind of want to get married to him. Okay, maybe he... Oh, well, he won't see this. He don't even know I do these things, so... Shh, shh, shh. Can't tell nobody. Um, 23. My favorite toy. But I know I wrote this question, so it was my favorite toy as a child. I would say anything like Barbie or anything. I was a tomboy mixed with a girly girl. It was so weird. Like, I can play with cards, but I also could play with Barbies. And my foot is falling asleep. So, let's get this going. 24, favorite snack, guilty pleasure, um, Jesus Christ, my favorite snack, I don't know, I like to munch on, like, pretzels, I love pretzels, or anything that, like, is healthier, a no, healthier alternative, I can't even talk, I never can talk, um, so, like, fruits and stuff like that, um, I don't really have a guilty pleasure, but if anything, I can say a regular guilty pleasure, which would be, like, you know, other stuff in life. I don't know. I can't think of one off the top of my head now. Shoe size, a six. A five and a half or a six. If I'm wearing Converse, I'm a two. That's freaking insane. My height is five feet. I'm very tiny. Um, 27, flip flops or sneakers. I would prefer flip flops, but like, because I really don't wear sneakers. I'm not a sneaker person at all. I used to be. So, and I really don't like flip-flops, so I would say sneakers. I wish flats were on there. My best memory would have to be, wow, there's so many, but when I went to um, my first concert with Dave Archuleta and I was 16, 16, being 16 was the best experience of my life, I would have to say. Everything amazing happened. A lot of firsts, like, not that kind of first, but like first experiences like my first plane ride my first traveling like everything you know like it was just an amazing experience for me um so i would say anything that happened when i was 16. um 29 family nickname everyone just calls me valerie val um emma that's my middle name so or v doesn't matter um go to <laughs> starbucks drink Everyone knows I'm a Starbucks, Starbucks aholic. So anything, anything tea related, I drink or um the hot chocolate. Thirty one. Oh my gosh, we still have plenty to go. Okay, what's one thing? What what one thing would you save if the house is on fire? Honestly, pictures or books. Um, you know, like memory books that I have, memory memory boxes that I you know, have and stuff like that, um, 32 pancakes or waffles, I used to love pancakes, there are days I crave them, but I can't eat more than half of one, I really, I don't know, I get really nauseous after it, um, I love waffles, but I hardly eat those either, so it's just kind of a mix, I don't eat breakfast, so, um, 33, a cause you stand for, I stand for anything, Honestly, I stand, f like, I'm a strong believer in a lot of things, whether it's, you know, cancer, breast cancer, AIDS, um, kidneys, you know, anything, I'm there, you know, I'm a big supporter of all types of things, and now my other leg is falling asleep. So, yeah, um, Android or Apple, Apple, obviously, I have an iPhone in my hand, um, 20, oh, 35, phrase you always say, I'm always calling someone a ratchet, I don't know why, I just, I always call somebody ratchet, it's just, it's crazy, um, 36, something you thought was cool and now see it wasn't, I don't know, I guess being a tomboy, like a really tomboy, because I do have only guy friends, 
most of the time so i was more like oh well you know i fit in with the guys now i didn't dress like a guy but i was not as girly -er as i am now i'm like super into fashion and girly so yeah um 37 last thing you ate last thing i ate was a steak <laughs> that sounds crazy right now but that was the last thing i ate um Last person you kissed, it was my friend Brandon. Um, when did you last, when did you graduate high school? Like I said, I'll be explaining that in my other video. I was supposed to graduate in 2010, but I graduated yesterday, June 25th, exactly on the date that I was supposed to graduate three years ago, but 2013, and that's the best class ever. Um, pet peeves. Oh, Lord. I can go on and on and on, but honestly, I'm just not even... My pet... I just hate liars. I hate cheaters. I hate people who say one thing and do another. I hate fake people. I hate friends that act like your best friend and then turn on you because it's happened often. I just... It's just... I hate catty drama. I just... That's why I hang out with guys. I hardly have girlfriends, so... Yeah, um, 41, favorite cartoon, my favorite cartoon, I guess I would say as a kid, because I hardly, I don't watch TV, so, as a kid I would say Courage, I loved Courage, or Rugrats, or Powerpuff Girls, and all that fun stuff, um, 41, oh no, 42, best friends, my best friends, I would say, I only, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't believe in best friends at all. Um, you know, when I call someone a best friend, it means something to me, so to have someone betray you and, you know, and you gave them that willpower to be your best friend, it just sucks. So I'm very cautious more with a best friend than I am with giving, um, a boyfriend a chance, I would say. So, yeah. Um, 43... Um, my favorite Powerpuff Girl, I would say, I used to love Blossom as a kid because she was just like, you know, she was a tough one and she was a sweet one. She was like the in-between one, but then she was like everybody's favorite and I was like, that's totally not fair. So, um, yeah. I like Bubbles. I don't know, she's just sweet and cute. I don't, I don't know why. It's changed over the years. I still watch Powerpuff Girls when it's on. Um, 44, can't sleep without doing this. I can't sleep without, um, at least playing a game on my phone. I don't have any games. Like, you know, I'm not into the whole Candy Crush and none of that. I don't do none of that. I don't do games. But, like, I'll play, like, the boringest game just so I can fall asleep. Um, 45, favorite home-cooked meal. I cook my own food because I don't eat what, um, my mom or my grandma cooks. I cook my own food because I do have a more healthier alternative to, you know, a healthier lifestyle. So I'll cook, like, a nice, you know, healthier pasta or stuff like that. So, yeah. 46. Women who make you feel empowered. I would say Bethany Frankel. I swear she's my mother in another life or sister. I don't know. Um, I love her to death. She's just a big inspiration to me. 47, homebody or adventure? I'm kind of both. I like to be a home, but then sometimes it gets boring being home, so you want to go out and have an adventure, so I would say both. 48, righty or lefty? I'm both, actually. I can write with my right hand, but as a kid, I was a lefty, and I don't know why I developed being right-handed, but um, I color easy more with my left, and I do everything I eat. Do everything except for actually write with my left hand. Um, 49, something you suck at. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I used to think I sucked at math really bad up until I got to my, um, my recent school that I just graduated from. And I'm a whiz at math. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I suck at. I wouldn't say, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm good at everything I try, but, you know, 
practice makes perfect that's how I see it um 50 red lips or nude lips honestly I'm not a fan of neither I like a dark lip but not a red lip and I like a pink lip not a nude nude <laughs> nude lip so yeah I'm in between there so that concludes this 50 random things about me tag hope you like it um don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i look forward to doing more videos here with the girls and yeah bye guys